Digital escape rooms have become really popular and they are a great activity, especially as we are virtual. So one way you can make them is in Google Slides. So the first thing you need to do is you open a Google Slide presentation. Um, you wanna go to layout and make it blank. And then if you wanna find the images online, you will go to insert image and then search the web. There's some keywords when you search. You wanna search transparent and then whatever you want, transparent classroom, transparent wall and floor, um, you'll search it. And then once you find the one you want, you just click on it and it will be inserted. So from here, you can write on it, you can insert everything that you wanna add. So you just make it the size you want. So I already went ahead and made one that I liked. So I'm gonna click on this and show you how to link things. So the first thing is I want the kids to know that they have to follow the directions in order to be able to proceed in the escape room. So I'm gonna give them directions that say, click on the door to begin. And I did that by using a text box. So after I've given these directions, you go to shape, pick a shape. I usually use a rectangle because my slides are rectangles. And I'm gonna drag it over it, then I'm gonna link, and I'm gonna link this to itself. So I'm gonna link this to slide two, and I hit apply. So now this is linked to this slide. So I'm gonna make this transparent and make the border transparent. Now, if they click on the door, I want them to be advanced to the next slide. So I'm going to go back to shapes, pick my shape. I'm going to go over the door and I'm going to link this to slide three. So I'm going to change this part from slide two to slide three and hit apply. And again, you have to go back. You don't want them to see that. So transparent, transparent. OK, so then I start with my questions. So I picked this one, I picked one with whiteboards. If you don't find one with whiteboards, you can always insert an image, a transparent image of a whiteboard. I gave the directions on one whiteboard and then questions. Um, and for this example, our answers are one, five, and nine. I inserted a keypad. I looked for a transparent image. Now, if you can't find an image, like I can't find an image that has inequalities on the keypad, you can make one. If you're not sure how to make your own keypad, then you can check out my video on how to make your own keypad. It is very simple to make one that you like. So once I do this, I'm gonna go over, I'm gonna duplicate it. So I'm gonna right click, duplicate, right click, duplicate. And I'm duplicating it twice because there's three questions. So if there have been four questions, I would duplicate it three times. So once I duplicate it, I need to drag my shapes over. So first we're gonna treat it as if they got it wrong. So I'm gonna link this to slide four. And then I wanna make it transparent, transparent. Then I'm gonna go to slide four and I'm gonna link it to slide five. So I drag my shape over, link it to slide five. I'm going to make it transparent and transparent. And then one more time, I go to slide five, drag my shape over. Link it, and this time I'm going to link it to slide six. Oh. And then make it transparent and transparent. Okay, so slide six, I just insert a slide that says, sorry, that's not correct, go back. You can make this however you want. You could use the same background you've been using. So when they get to slide six, I want them to start over at the first question that they missed in this section. If you have multiple sections, you will link this to the beginning of each section. So in this, this section start at slide three. So I'm gonna link this to slide three. So that way when they get there, it sends them back to slide three. So I'm gonna make it transparent, make it transparent. So now four and five, I'm gonna duplicate. And I do that by clicking on four, holding down control, clicking on five, I'm gonna right click, duplicate. And then I'm gonna slide the incorrect back up to where it was. So now, because I linked it before I copied it, now if they get seven wrong, it's going to take them back up. So what I wanna do, is I'm gonna come up here and I wanna make sure if they pick one, that they go to slide seven. So I do that by picking my shape. I'm gonna go over to the one. And if they pick one, I want them to be linked to slide seven. 
So one goes to slide seven, and then I'm gonna make it transparent. So on slide seven, this is question two, if they pick five, I want them to go to slide eight. Everything else, they need to go back up to a wrong slide, which we already did by duplicating it. So I'm gonna highlight five. So if they pick five, I want them to go to slide eight. And then I make it transparent. And then the last one, slide eight, if they do this one right, I want them to go to the good job slide. And this one, I said the answer is nine. So I'm gonna go to my shapes one more time. I'm gonna go over nine. And I'm gonna link it to slide nine. And transparent and transparent. So when they get to slide nine, if you want to add another section, you would just say like, great job, let's try some more. And you would then insert the next section after this. Um, if you wanted them to be done, you could give them a congratulations message. So let's see what this looks like. So I'm going to start slide two. So if you remember, if they click anywhere, do you notice I'm clicking and nothing is happening? The direction said click on the door. So they have to click on the door to, to enter. So now first let's follow the correct sequence. So one, five, nine, I get a great job. Okay, so let's say that I didn't follow that sequence. So I'm gonna go back and start over. Let's see, two, six, eight. Sorry, let's go back and it starts them over again. Now, once you have all this made, you wanna make sure that you give it to them without these arrows. You do not want them to have the option to automatically advance themselves. If you're not sure how to do that, you can check out my video on how to give this to your students in presentation mode without the arrows. The other thing that I really like doing for these is I like to use Equatio, and I suggest if you are trying to type math equations, it makes them really pretty, they're transparent, you can go in and you can get the Equatio extension and you'll be able to type them nice and pretty on here.